It's your girl Katira. We're here on Lit Live, and I'm here with Jacob Scipio. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oops. Congratulations to you because you've done a, a lot of movies, but Bad Boys has to be a legendary one. For me, it's a childhood one. I mean, I've grew up on Bad Boys. How was it playing your role and being a part of such a significant movie to a lot of people? Yeah, being involved with those guys, I grew up watching them, you know, Will and mm -hmm. Martin. So when you get to be in scenes and act opposite with them, it's it's, it's like a dream come true. That's amazing. When you found out you were gonna have a role in the movie, were you super excited or you were like, ah, oh, this was gonna happen because I've been putting in the hard work? No, I was gassed. You were gassed? I was, I was definitely gassed up when I found out that, uh, that they wanted me to be involved in Bad Boys 3. It was uh, quite a long audition process. Yeah. I had initially come to LA and in like the space of two or three weeks, mm -hmm. I got a manager and I was sent up for Bad Boys. Mm -hmm. And I got a recall just as I was supposed to leave to go back to London. But wow. he managed to rearrange it. I came in, did the chemistry read with Will. And then it was like a long month of waiting because we had to okay it by the studio. And then the, yes. the producers and everyone had to sign off on it, basically. So it was like torturous waiting to, to hear for it because, you know, it's like a, yeah. it's a life changing role. Uh, but luckily it went my way. How is it remembering lines? Because I mean, because now you're like getting into action and then the lines, it's like, it's a lot going on. Like, what's your process? Like, what's a tip like you would give other actors when it comes to lines and action at the same time? I mean, walking and talking, you should get paid for both of those, yeah. you know? So usually I'm, I'm walking, I can do that, but yeah. walking at the same time, ooh, it's that's a lot. tough. Uh, but in terms of learning lines, I mean, I have my own technique. Everybody's mm -hmm. different the way they memorize stuff. Yeah. I tend to just like take it line by line and then read the second line, go back to the beginning, third line, mm -hmm. back to the beginning, and then it kind of just sits in there. Yeah. So I know you played many roles. Do you like being the villain? I love being the villain. It's so much fun. You look, you look like a sexy villain. Is that, <laughs> am I being disrespectful? <laughs> like, no, no, I, no I you. Like that. <laughs> I like that sexy villain. That's yeah. Um, Do you ever like get too much into your role where you start feeling like a villain in real life? I mean, I think every character that you play has shades of your own personality in it. Mm -hmm. It's inevitable to yeah. put your own feelings and thoughts and emotions and memories into mm -hmm. a role. Um, so, yes, yeah, certainly there's, there's parts of Armando in me, but, you know, we're, he's his own guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's a role that you haven't played before and that you were curious to play or would love to play? I love genre movies. So yeah do a western yeah i want to be on horseback like guns yes look <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'd love to do it. i see that so would you ever do a superhero movie i mean i would do any genre of film as long as the character is in because i see you as a superhero as well yeah i mean yeah. i'm big into the superhero films I, yeah i grew up watching like the x-men 97 yeah like that the cartoon it was, just, <laughs> it was a staple in my house on saturday morning with the cereal you know yes um so yes yeah, certainly I'd, I'd i'd definitely be interested in, in playing those roles because i believe yeah. like they're like a part of american cinema iconography you know? yeah like you guys have created like this these these idols almost in the superheroes yeah they seriously so much about the society so i feel like yeah definitely interesting characters to play I'll, I'll definitely have to. oh man so you've been you've been doing this for a really long time since you were a baby yeah how did you get into this were your parents um into film and and acting tell me a little bit about your story well uh uh the first film i was in i was nine months old and uh i played a baby yeah. Film, yeah. Uh, but that was because my auntie was an agent mm. my mom is a makeup artist still is a makeup artist Ooh. my eldest brother is a film director my second eldest brother is a music producer so we have a very creative home our, uh, I love our that. living room is kind of like a production company <laughs> i love that. well talking about production company you have your own production company yeah. tell me a little bit about that entrepreneur yeah, yeah. <laughs> well it, it started as that you know it was like me and my family and my brothers mm -hmm. wanting to create our own stuff mm -hmm. uh, write our own stuff put our own voices out into the world and it just made sense to work together yeah. so we, we started cpo productions and we've uh 
had three of our short films screen at the uh, Cannes Court Meritage, the Cannes Film Festival. It was awesome. And we continue to you know work together and create. I love that. So tell me a little bit about your writing process, because I understand you're a writer as well. Yes. Um, how does that play? Like, do you have to experience something in order to really get in that writing mode? Yeah, you certainly have to be inspired to write yeah. something because it's a far longer process than developing a character. Yeah. It takes forever to, to yeah. write something. So you really have to believe that you're the one to bring the story into the world. You yeah. have to, because you'll get lost in the weeds yeah. of rewriting and drafting. So you really have to believe in whatever project you're doing and, and why you're doing it. That's very true. And that's hard. Like, have you ever changed your mind and a character that you just started developing? You're like, you know what? Actually, I want them to to go down this path. Yeah. And it's funny. They kind of create their own. They um, become their own thing. Yeah. Like alien life form almost. Like you start off with the story that you want to tell, but mm -hmm. the movie, it, it tells you what film it's going to yeah. be. Yeah. I've always been curious. Is it hard to cry on camera? Um, I know that's because you see everyone crying on Instagram, um, but like, is it hard to no, cry? It's so easy. You just get the Vicks rub, rub it in the eye. Oh, so it's like that? I thought that they would say, think of your most trauma moment in your life yeah. and just cry. Yeah. I mean, everybody has their own uh, technique to do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I try not to beat myself too much up about it because, you know, it's tough getting into that mental space. Yeah. Be that emotional, but it's part of the job. Yeah, I love it. Are you a good liar? Am I a good liar? I feel like all actors no, have to I'm be good. Liar. Yeah. yeah, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I I'm so curious because the other day I was this amazing singer. Her name is Shay Universe. She's from UK, and when I was talking to her, she she had her you know respected accent, but when she was singing, it was like an American mm. accent. Yeah. Do are you good at an American accent? Yeah. I mean, okay, let's do it. I, okay, what, what do you want me to say? What do you, um, what do you do? say like, you know, what's up? What's the the best bar out here? I don't know. <laughs> Yo, what's cracking, son? I'm looking for the best bar out here. What was you? What was, what you what is going on? on? I can't. This freaks me out. I like, was born. Y'all let's get a bacon, egg, and cheese from the bodega. Oh! <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay. It's crazy. But when I first seen you, I thought you were Latino, mm. but you're Guyanese. Mm -hmm. Do you get that a lot? Yeah, I mean, well, like, my dad's... We can play a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I guess you say ethnically ambiguous. Like, yes. Uh, you know, my dad is uh, West Indian and Guyanese. My mm -hmm. mom's, like, from Irish and Yiddish, Jewish descent. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like, uh, I'm, I'm a mutt, really. I'm, I'm from all over. Well, this is this works in your benefit, because you can literally play any... I literally was like, he must be Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. I'm Puerto Rican. I so, I, I, you I look like some of my cousins. Puerto Rican people, man. Yes! What's a place that um, you would love to visit? In the world? Yeah. Oh, man, you know, you go to such incredible locations when you're shooting films. That's like, yeah. that's sometimes like the, such a joy uh, of the job, you know. But um, I'm always I'm always looking for my next adventure. I'm actually planning on going back to Guyana for the first time. Wow. Yeah, my dad, I'm bringing, bringing my dad and my two brothers. Um, and yeah, my dad hasn't been back in decades. So it's going to be kind of like a returning home situation. Oh my God, that's going to be amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I always leave with a positive note. Is there anything that you would love to tell your audience in terms of just pushing forward, believing in yourself, a message for them? If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. Oh, shit. I got a poet on my hands. I love that. That was amazing. Well, thank you, Jacob, for coming by. You're an amazing actor. I know there's going to be a lot more great opportunities, and I can't wait to see you in other films. And it's going to be very exciting because I'm the type of girl that if I see you, I'm like, oh, that's my friend. Yeah, yeah. That's so, uh, sure. you know, congratulations again on Bad Boys and, and all the other plays and scripts and, and movies you've written. I, I know this is going to be an amazing career for you. And guys, you, you're you going to see this through the camera, but your aura and your energy is amazing. So Super humbling. I love humble people. <laughs> Thank you. Thank so you. Let's check in. Yeah. <laughs>